world can be keeping Nan? I don't know, but if she doesn't get here pretty soon, we won't have time to do any shopping. And there's so many stores we want to go. Oh, there you are, Nan. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I just couldn't get out of the house. It was that man's fault. It was Bob's fault. I tell well, you. Well, what happened, honey? Oh, getting that man off to work is worse than getting a child off to school. I'm... Oh, thank you very, very much. Well, Nan, what's wrong? Well, first of all, you should see that bathroom in the morning when he gets through shaving. There's soap all over the mirrors, soap all over the sink. He's just a sloppy washer, that's all. He never hangs up his robe. He drops his pajamas all over the floor. The whole house is just a mess. And you think that's bad. You should see what he's like when he comes down to breakfast in the morning. That's when he really becomes a problem. Mother spoiled him, you know. I know what you mean. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Mr. Bob Victor can only have fresh fruit juices in the morning because that's the way his mother gave it to him, and that's the way he wants it to this day. He wanted orange juice this morning. I had to squeeze those oranges right in front of him to prove that I wasn't using any canned stuff. And yesterday morning, he wanted pineapple juice. Did you ever try to squeeze a fresh pineapple juice? <laughs> I tell you, those thorns go right through your gloves. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, girls. I'm just getting fed up. In order to get here in time today, I had to walk out and leave that whole house just a mess. Nan, mm. how much salary do you get? Salary? What do you mean, salary? Well, you're doing the work of a maid. You might as well get a maid's salary. <laughs> Come on, girls. We're all in the same boat. Oh, no. Freddie is the orange squeezer in our house. Mm. And George serves me breakfast in bed. He does? Every day? No, not every day. But let's face it, Nan, you broke Bob in wrong. It's nice to look after your husband, but I think he's taking a little too much for granted. Nan, you never have time for yourself. After all, even a maid gets a day off. When is the last time you saw a matinee? When's the last time you played bridge? When's the last time you just relaxed and had some fun with the girl? You know something, you're right. You're absolutely right. That man has been living in our house just like a king. And I'm his servant girl. What can I do about it? I know what I'd do. If you want to see him do an about face and start picking up after himself and being neat and tidy around the house, you've got to hit him where it hurts the most. Right in the stomach. <laughs> no, right in the pocketbook. <laughs> Let's see how we'd like to pay for some of these services. Why don't you hire a maid? A maid? Oh, Betty. Oh, honey, come on. He'd never go for that. Oh, he'd hit the ceiling. But that's exactly what you want him to do. Sure, that's it, Nan. Hire a maid. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll hit him where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, I'll hit him in the stomach. <laughs> Well, I'll show him. I'm home, dear. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm home, dear. Let's see. He's home. He's home. Well, I never would have guessed it. This is the worst yet. Hello, darling. Oh, sweetheart. Well, now tell me, uh, did you have a hard day? Uh, yes. <laughs> I had a very hard day, dear. You know, you ought to be glad. You ought to be glad that you, you don't have to go out in the world and plug for a living. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can just sit home here and just relax and take it easy. You got nothing to worry about, you know? He's Ashton. I think I'll hit him in the stomach. You know, I had to take out a buyer today. I'm telling you, I didn't know what it was. I had to take him to lunch. Sat there and ate with him for four and a half hours. Then we had sat another couple hours smoking some cigars. 
Well, I'm telling you, it's real rough. If I see another piece of lobster or a glass of champagne, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> My goodness, you poor dear, you did have a hard day. Yes, I did, dear. I certainly did. Oh, honey, uh, did you have a nice day? What'd you do? Well, I uh, met Betty and Alice for lunch. We were going to go shopping, but we didn't have time. That's what I mean, honey. You never have time. That's the whole thing. Hey, whiz. I mean, after all, hey, look at the house. When you look at this house, look at it over there. I mean, after all, it's, there's the coat over there, and there's another coat, there's shoes on the floor, papers over. The house is a mess. And you never do anything about it but lounge around and go shopping. Gee. That's it! W what's it, dear? That's it! Where is it? What? <laughs> who do you think you are? Just who do you think you are? You come home, put your clothes all over every place. You never pick up anything. You never stop to think of how much work you're making for me. You like everything to be just nice and neat and tidy. You like your breakfast, just so. You like your dinner, just so. You like your shirts ironed, just so. You like your bed made with military corners, just so. You like your ties hung according to the colors of the rainbow, just so. You like everything, just so. So? You like a nice house? <laughs> you like everything neat and tidy? <laughs> you like everything just so. Well, that takes time, and that takes work, and I am sick and tired of picking up your clothes all over this house. Clothes, that reminds me. Uh, honey, did you press my blue suit? <laughs> Honey, you're making a mess. <laughs> Come on, honey. I mean, maybe you're just a little distraught. Now, let's have a little dinner, huh? If you want your dinner, it's in the kitchen. You can go out there and fix it yourself. Oh, now, come on. This is not my man talking. That's right. Your man quit. This is a new man. My eyes are open now. <laughs> Wait a minute. I see. I, I know you. I know you too well. There's something, something, you got something on your mind, you're cooking inside. You're starting to come to a boil now, and I think you're going to start to fry. Now, why don't you just let it out and let me hear what's on your mind. What is it? It's all right. I want a maid. Well, is that all? Well, we won't even talk about it. Come on, let's have some dinner. Just a minute. Maybe you didn't hear what I said. I'm serious. I want a maid. Oh, now I get it. Now I see what it is. You went out today and had lunch with the girls, Betty and Alice, huh? So? <laughs> and, oh, my husband serves me breakfast in bed. And my husband walks tippy-toe around the house when I sleep. And my husband carries me wherever I go. And my husband's a nice little slob and drops things all over the house. All right, I'm not going to argue with you because it's childish. Now, if you want to talk this over in an adult manner, I'll do that with you. Now, you give me your reasons why you think you should have a maid. I'll give you my reasons why I think we shouldn't have a maid. And in the course of the conversation, if it comes up that you should have a maid, I'll leave the house. <laughs> because I'm not paying for no maid. All right, we'll see. All right, we'll see. <laughs> Betty, I did it. That's right. I hired a maid. Yeah. Bob doesn't know a thing about it yet. He'll probably hit the ceiling, but I don't care. That's right. <laughs> Listen, I want you and George to come over tonight. I've already called Fred and Alice, and they'll be over after dinner. Fine. And Betty, thanks again. Bye. Yep. Yes, 
Rosalie. Um, Mr. Victor usually gets home about 6.30, so I think we'll have dinner around 7. And I'd like you to serve the hors d'oeuvres in here at the coffee table. Yes, ma'am. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Victor, I found a pair of blue trousers in the wastebasket. Does this, Mr. Victor want me to throw them away? No, Rosalie, that's his good suit, and you'll find the jacket in the bathtub. Will that be you all, ma'am? Yes, Rosalie, thank you. <laughs> what a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Oh, with the maids are doing all of the work. Do, do. There we are. Rosalie, my darling. <laughs> Rosalie, my own. Did you call Ro me, Mrs. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Rosalie. I was, I was just singing to myself. You sing very nicely, Mrs. Victor. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see, what shall I do with myself? I just have so much time, I don't know what to do. I think I'll go upstairs and take a little nap before dinner. Just like I did before lunch. And after lunch. Home, Dan. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, I know it, dear. Thank you. I went ahead and uh, I hired a maid. You, you, you did hire me. You what? You what? <laughs> you, uh, you, hired, you hired a whole maid? Yes, I did. Uh, you didn't say that again, you did. Uh, I, you say you, you hired an entire maid over my entire head? Right, I did. Well, uh, uh, this is flabbergasting. I've never seen anything. To, uh, after I specifically said it that I wouldn't stay in the house with a maid, well, I, I want to say you have some impeccable gall. That's all I want to say. Bob, do you really feel that way about it? 
I most certainly and above board do. <laughs> well, then, I'm sorry, honey. I'll just, just have to fire the maid. Don't fire the maid! <laughs> what? Don't fire. After all, she's a human being. And you just don't hire and fire. Human beings like that, dear. I mean, after all, you got to give her a little notice if you want to fire her. Two or three years. <laughs> Uh, where is she, dear? She's in the kitchen cooking dinner. Oh, she is? Well... Uh, Shall we go over and uh, no, sit down, No, let's just ring for her. Oh. That's the bell. <laughs> yes, ma'am? Is dinner ready, Rosalie? Yes, ma'am. Uh, would you serve it now, please? Yes, ma'am. Well, dear, what do you think of her? I think she's a very highly intelligently built girl. And the agency said she was a very good cook, too. She cooks, too. Oh, yes, well, that's does. good. Darling, well, let's go and sit down. Yes, Come darling. On. Have a very nice, relaxed dinner. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, Rosalie, that looks just wonderful. <coughs> Bob, doesn't this look wonderful, dear? It certainly does. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rosie. <laughs> Thank you. Bob, darling. Bob. Thank you, Bob. Yes, this is Rosalie. It's for me, ma'am. <laughs> no, Albert, I can't go to dinner with you. No. 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 Absolutely no. No. Yes. Very thing I It's for me, ma'am. <laughs> no, Michael, I can't go to dinner with you. No. 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 Absolutely no. No. Yes. I'll get it, dear. Darling, why don't you let Rosalie answer it? She's going in the kitchen, dear. Hello? Yes. Mm hmm Rosalie, how's Tuesday night for Richard? Okay. Okay, pick her up at 8.30. Bye. You know, darling, I don't think I like this, all these phone calls. Well, I know, dear, but the girl has a life of her own, you know. Oh, I'll get it, dear. Why don't you let Rosalie answer it? Well, she's been on those legs all day. <laughs> Come in. Bob, how are you? Hi, Bob. We're not too early, are we? No, 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 that's all right. Come on in. Come in and have some coffee with us. Sure, I can use yeah. a cup of coffee. Have a cup of coffee. Oh. Sit down, George. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Now watch this. Oh, that's very pretty. That's very nice. Where'd you get it? <laughs> very nice. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Excuse me a minute, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> George, you've got your hand in the hot coffee. George, you've got your hand in the hot coffee. Your hand, it's in the hot coffee. Ow. Oh. Hoo hoo ha, hoo hoo ha. You bet your life, hoo ha. Yeah, yeah, hoo ha, but who, who ha, who ha, who, who hired her? Nan hired her. Nan hired her? Must be out of her mind. You must be out of your mouth. 
But I don't know what you mean. She's a very good cook, and she does her work very well. But you just don't let Miss Universe walk around the house. I don't know what you mean. Man, haven't you got eyes? Look at her. Better yet, look at the men. What? Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll have, have another cup. You me too. Oh, I'll have another. Don't go away. I'll have another. <laughs> her here. And I'm certainly not coming over anymore with fainting Freddy. <laughs> so I've just got to figure out some way to get rid of her, that's all. I'll get it, dear. Hello? Rosalie's residence. <laughs> yeah. It's long distance, Rosalie. Denver, Colorado. What do we do when, uh, when we haven't got a maid? I, yeah, I, we have to have a maid, sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. I think it's very fair of Rosalie to offer to stay with us till, uh, till, till some, we get someone else. Well, darling, I think we can't stand in the way of Rosalie's marriage. I think we ought to let her go to Denver. Yes, dear. I think you should go to Denver, Rosalie, and get married. I just want to say that you've only been here a short while. In that short while, we've grown to love you. <laughs> Oh, I think, yes. The only thing I can do now is I, I could drive you to the railroad station. Or I could, I could drive you to the airport. Or I could drive you to Denver. Or... Or you can take a taxi. Thank you, Mr. Victor. I'll take a taxi. Yes. Bye. Sure. Let's go home and have cookies! Ow! Oh, dear! Well, I... I think, uh... I think we ought to have a new maid, huh, dear? Don't you think? I mean, maybe she's got a sister. <laughs> no more maids! There we are. Hello? What? 
No. Rosalie doesn't live here anymore. 